hi everybody today we are going to see <coughs> how to install Windows 8.1 operating system so I'm going to install Windows 8.1 through VMware Workstation so first of all I need to create a new virtual machine with size and the RAM for that so let's start Go to the VMR workstation and go to file and click new virtual machine and then we can go for advanced customization select next just leave it as it is and select next I'm just going to browse the ISO file that is the Windows 8.1 operating system Here it is and just select it and select open and select next that is even Microsoft Windows Windows 8 I'm just going to select it as Windows 8 and let's see I have another option there is no other option just select Windows 8 and select next here leave it as it is and select it is. and before that I need to check for the size I have 41 GB of space so no problem <coughs> select next leave it as it is if you want higher speed and if your processor supports more cores then you can increase the processors and select next I'm going to give it as 1 GB just give it as 1 GB and select next and a connection just give it as NAT SCSI control and leave it as it is create a new virtual disk select next leave it as it is and here I'm going to give as 15 GB and here I'm going to leave it as it is don't select this one if you select this one and then your disk partition the disk in your disk partition the size will be allocated specifically for this operating system so I'm just leaving it as it is and selecting split to virtual disk into multiple files just going to select next and it will ask for the location one disk file will be created and leave it as it is select next and if you want to add any other settings then you can add here I don't want it floppy so I can remove it NAT USB sound printer display yeah, everything is added and just clo closing it and start finish now I'm going to put both this virtual machine let's go into the full view So it was starting to boot from the ISO field which I have selected. And now I'm going to select the language to install and I'm going to leave it as it is. And time and current format I'm going to leave it as it is. And the USD board. If you want to change according to your native, then you can change this one to. whatever you want I'm just going to leave it for because it was enough for me I'm just going to select and here you can repair your computer I'm just not going to 
go into this options because I have not yet installed the operating system so I'm going to select install now and the setup is starting I'm just installing this operating system in the virtual machine yeah okay just a minute I am going to select the Windows 8.1 Pro here. Select next. I'm going. I'm going to select the accept the license agreement and select next. Here there are two options. If you have Windows 8 or Windows 7 machine, then you can select this option. To upgrade your operating system from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 8.1 operating system. Since I don't have any other operating system, I am to select custom. Here there is a displays. I am just going to select next and continue for installing the operating system. If you want, you can create partitions. For example, select next and select ten GB <coughs> if you see the minimum requirement for installing operating system in our disk is 12 GB I have give I have split it into two partitions so it was not good to it was not good to install operating system within this size so better I can delete this one you guys see just know how to create a partition using this I'm <coughs> just going to create a new I'm just going to select tab play uh, by default a system reserved partition will be created during the disk partition and a primary partition will be created and keep in mind that you can only install an operating system only in the primary partition not in the logical drive or not in the extended drive okay I'm just going to select the partition to um, select next and the setup are starting yeah and um, very left yeah um, Installing the operating system in the virtual machine is same as of the Installing the operating system in the bare metal system. That is a new machine or a fresh machine. The only thing is you need to split the partitions according to your need and that is it um, Here I'm installing the Windows 8.1 professional 64-bit operating system 64-bit operating system and 32-bit operating system both are similarly same only the hardware requirements will get changed so no problem in installing this kind of operating system and the installing procedure is same for both the operating system so you no need to worry after viewing this video you can install both 32-bit operating system and 64-bit uh, operating system So in my previous video I have shown you how to install Windows 8 operating system and here I am showing you how to install Windows 8.1 operating system. So there is no similarities between installing the both the operating system both are similarly same and the procedure is also same the disk partition the booting process the installing process everything is same. But working in the operating system is slightly different when compared to Windows 8 in Windows 8.1 there are certain changes made that will be discussed in my next video so keep on subscribing my, for my channel and you can also visit my website www.tchken.in for more videos and technology related softwares downloads and news so it is going to get too much time I'm going to
pass and you do it in few times you can get a break
the installation is going to get finished and after that it will reboot for two times until that you don't want to press any of the keys in your keyboard so just remain calm so that it will get finished and it will ask for some details you need to give a input such as the PC name and the login name and the update settings and some app settings etc etc and after that it will take to your desktop and the installation was finished and it will start installing the features and updates it will finish within seconds and after that it will start reboot Just going to press restart now and it was restarting. Since, it's, since it was a first time boot, it will take some time, so you need to be patient without doing anything or touching any key. So be patient, it will boot. Now you can see the video graphics has been installed since the lower size has been changed and be patient to start installing the drivers and take you into the process of giving some inputs and right now the devices are getting ready.
actually this installation will get finished within 15 to 20 minutes since I'm, a, I'm using the virtual machine I'm installing in a virtual machine it was taking time so while installing in your system or a laptop you don't need to get worry about that because it will install within few minutes and one thing you need to keep in mind that installing in the laptop or a desktop with the help of the USB and DVD is necessary so if you want to install an operating system you better you can use a USB drive to install the operating system for that you need you need to make that USB into a bootable device using a software called Windows USB tool uh, I have also produced a video regarding it it will be in my channel so you can look after it and there must be some difference between installing the operating system through a USB or through a DVD media since USB have better transaction period transmission period for about 30 Mbps per second the DVD is not having much transaction speed so you better you can install in USB for finishing the installation within 15 minutes if you install through the DVD it will take up to 20 or 25 minutes what I have done is I have given only 1 GB of RAM so it was taking too much time for configuring so if you are going to test in a virtual machine like VMware Workstation, VMware Player or VirtualBox you can better give up to 2 GB of RAM so the installation will get finished within 15 to 20 minutes yeah it was finished since I am not having the product key I am just going to skip it if you have the product key you can give the product key and select next and continue the process both the same I am just going to skip it and now I am going to personalize it I am just going to name it as again I am just going to use the express settings I am not having the internet connectivity so it will get failed so we can't do anything so let's see so it was asking for creating a account I'm just going to create a local account since I'm not having a then connectivity to login through a Microsoft account. I'm going to create a local account. I'm just going to name it as again. Use finish. This is a login account which you're going to use. So this is where you are going to wait for some time before booting into your desktop. It will start 
installing your metro apps it will take some time you need to be patient So the installation was finished right now and we can go to the desktop and let's see what it has done. Yes, the Windows 8.1 Pro has been installed in the operating system. So I have seen the installation of Windows 8.1 operating system that is a 64 bit operating system installing the 64 bit operating system on the 32 bit operating system was same but you need to keep in mind that the if you want to install a 64 bit operating system in your PC you need to check whether your system supports the 64 bit operating system and it, it will show this one this X is to a basic processor if it shows like this means then you can install the 64 bit operating system and you at least need to have 2 GB of RAM you need to keep in mind that because if you have 1 GB of RAM then your system will be slow in processing so that is it for today
and we can see in the next video thank you